All right, so after like 300,000 weeks of losing and losing and losing and then losing K Kyrie and then Simmons forgetting how to play basketball, finally we get a must win, a must win against the Blazers, who are an actually good team instead of like the Magic or Pistons or whatever. After losing to the Lakers, losing to Kings, we got beat by 32 by the Kings, bro. Oh my gosh. But finally we get a, a must win off a tip in from Royce O'Neal. In that game, Royce O'Neal was tremendous. You know what I'm saying? That bro had an 11 point triple double. You could, he was everywhere on the court. Yuta Watanabe, he was blicking on. Kevin Durant was Kevin Durant, obviously. You know what I'm saying? He, he was hot. Hot this game. Made like 30, 35, something like that. Um, and he was playmaking as well. Royce O'Neal playmaking. Seth Curry, Joe Harris had some good passes. If you, I don't know if you've seen the highlights, watch the highlights, but that meant Joe Harris had some good passes in there. Um, Yuta was playing great in general. You know what I'm saying? With 5 3 is a good defense. Ben Simmons finally you know what i'm saying had a ben simmons type of game bro like yeah what 15 and 7 or something 15 12 and 7 you know what i'm saying great defense really uh, aggressive you know what i'm saying it actually driving to the basket and making a plays that's the type of ben simmons that i need this whole season bro like that's the type of ben simmons that i was expecting coming into the season like you don't know how to shoot the ball you don't even have to shoot threes even though he has actually shot threes just be aggressive you know what I'm saying? Really make yourself an offensive threat. He's done that. I think Simmons at point. I feel like it could kind of work. I ain't gonna lie. Joe Harris made some threes this time around. Claxton, you know what I'm saying? I love his consistency. No cap. I love Claxton's consistency. I love what Claxton's doing out there. And I just really like what I saw from the team. Shooter wise, playmaking wise. Obviously the defense could be better. It could be way better. But like the defensively, I like what I saw out of the team, except for that. That foul at the end on Nurkic was bad. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but overall, if that's the team that, that shows up, you know what I'm saying? I think we have a chance at something, especially consider we don't even have Kyrie. That's the type of, that's the type of plays I, I need to see running with like the handoffs and like the um, passing inside ball movement, not just ISOs and you know what I'm saying? And Kevin Durant just being Kevin Durant, obviously. Um, Kyrie being Kyrie when he comes back. Um, I think we can really make stuff shake, make stuff shake. Now I'll talk about the Blazers. The Blazers played really well as well. Like. You didn't have a, a huge game, Dave game, but Dan played great. You know what I'm saying? If, if he Simons, the scoreboard, I feel like, doesn't do him justice, bro. Like, when you see him play, he's like a mini Dame, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, the commentator once said, like, um, the thing about their team is that um, even if Dame's not playing, you have Anthony Simons, and he's just like mini Dame. Like, so it's like Dame's basically always in the game. Like, so the team doesn't have to adjust. And you can tell. Jeremy Grant didn't have a good day in this game. He, he was averaging like 25 for the past, like, five games or something like that. Like, he was playing really great. So. It's a good thing for us. He didn't have a good game offensively. But Shaden Sharp, he looks like a he looks like a veteran already. He's a rookie. He looked like a veteran. Like he was playing great. Um Nurkic had to they're just Nurkic look good out there. He looked good. But yeah, they're they're looking very good this season. I mean they're what are they? They're still the ones here, I think. But uh we managed to get that W against a good team. Now I feel I feel like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta keep this keep this up. That's the Nets for you. Uh what else I have to say? Shay Gilgis Alexander. He's playing at an MVP level. Like offensively playmaking wise defensively overall like he's doing everything um that like and, that, and that's why he's part of my agenda like he's really doing everything like i feel like he's not gonna win obviously because i feel like the thunder is gonna take uh especially because not even a tank they might try because like they don't even have their rookie so it's like i don't know but the thunder are like you know what i'm saying like they're coming up right they're coming up the kings are actually decent i right now i, I wouldn't say they're like great even i know they blew us out but like I feel like they need to consistently beat, you know what I'm saying, good teams more. Like they beat the Warriors, but the, now the Warriors are just like ass right now. Uh <laughs> they beat the Heat, but the Heat are kind of kind of bad right now. They're kind of mid, kind of weird. They're kind of weird. They're kind of mid. The only other team they beat was the Cavs. They beat the Cavs. And then they lost to some other teams. So it's like, I'm kind of mid on them right now. I'm not, I'm not fully invested on them, but Darren Fox is playing at all-star level, you know what I'm saying? So bonus is doing some bonus things. He and Murray looks good. Malik Monk looks good. Kevin Herter, you know what I'm saying? They have guys playing their roles, you know what I'm saying? So I think they just, they need reps. They need all that type of stuff. And I don't really feel like talking about any of the teams. Jason Tatum's playing really good, but F the Celtics. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say for real. Hold on.